Hello everybody and welcome back to Outer Tail once again, and possibly the last time. At least for now, if I ever feel like doing the genocide route, which uh not sure. Anyway. If I ever do feel like doing it, then maybe I will. Ah, you made it. Yeah. If I need to you just I'll just read it. This is Archive 6. Uh, ever since it was built, the humans have been guiding here. Held in stasis. In a time accelerator virtual world. Uh, isn't it awesome? Uh, it's incredible what Professor Rowan was able to achieve. Like, uh, I don't know if he's into sci-fi anime, but yeah. Yeah. This does not seem to be any different, so... Uh... So, uh, I think he was inspired by that. Uh, anyway, uh, Asgore's waiting for you at the force field, in case you were wondering. Uh, but if you weren't, then I'm not sure why you're here. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it, really. Uh, I'll just be over here for now. Still recording? Just gotta check. Guess it is. Alright. Okay. So, this time, Twinkly will not, uh, kill Asgore. So that's good. I mean, last time was pretty cool. But, you know. No need to fight him again. This is the force field. It is what keeps us trapped on the outpost. An unthinking, unfeeling boundary, through which nobody, monster or otherwise, may pass. For many years, I lamented that we would never reach the stars. I feared that, one day, a human would arrive and doom us all. Then, one by one, the children of Earth came. All were anxious, all faced challenges on their journeys here. But, deep down, they let their brightest traits shine through. The patient and the brave, the truth-teller and the survivor, the kind one, the one who sought justice above all. When given the choice to stay or enter the archive, they all eventually chose the latter. Now it is your turn to make that same choice. As the last to enter, you would act as a vessel, borrowing the other's soul power as your own. With all the power combined, you will destroy the force field. Then, monster kind will search for a new home planet. However, you do not want such a responsibility. You may stay with us on the outpost until you change your mind. Whatever you decide, I will support you. Will you enter the archive? Yes. This time we're actually entering. Follow me, young one. There is much to do. There we go. Almost at the end. Don't know how different the Ezreal fight will be. Or even how different True Lab is, but it is time. Elvis? Uh, yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, just getting everything ready and all. Uh, there. We should be set for the procedure. Okay. Okay, uh, looks like they're in the system. Uh, don't worry. This archive was created. We made sure to provide the ideal environment for the humans. Lush forests, rolling hills, rivers as far as the eye can see. All the trappings of a beautiful earth vista. We are counting on you, young one. Please be safe and do 
not take too long. Yeah, I'm still here. Though I don't think I can follow you inside. Conscious and all that. But whatever happens, I trust you'll do the right thing. Uh, stay safe, alright? Into the archive. Alright. Okay. So I am technically no longer level 1. But I'm still fine. Just checking if it's still recording. Alright, it is. Let's continue then, shall we? Oh. Tap on the panel. Got the monster candy. Tap on the panel. What is... Because the frog cannot move. Humans. A captive. Oh. Switch. Escape. Stare through the animated security field. Do I have a time limit? Place your hands on the lifeless dummy. Activate the terminal. Sounds like a recording was made here. Dear Asgore, if you can hear me, I hope you can forgive us for what we've done. You tried your very best to make us happy. For that, I am grateful. But, like the others, I could not resist the temptation to use my power. Could not wait any longer to see the friends I have made on the outpost. What even is this place? Am I done? Oh, is the... Force field's gone now. Watson. Um... But da ba 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 is not yet ready to read you a story. What? Only your routine wasn't finished with a routine. This is a bit creepy. intent to following a routine. Eat slowly, my child. I would like to share something with you. Once there was a monster. thing to do. Was it finished with a routine? Alright. Alright. It seems like I cannot heal. Are you sleepy, my child? Night, my child. What even is this place? Man, I love it when my Undertale fan game turns into psychological horror. Love it when that happens. Okay. Alright. 
the next one, which would be ba br Bavery Bravery. This one, I assume. What? Here's Canis Maximum cannot move. Sound higher, the light brighter. Full illumination will end their detention. You join the poles in each dimension? Good luck. What the? Okay. Ah, I see. These are the only healing items I can get. I don't think I need that many. Here's just a note that has a phone number written on it. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Where am I? Where's the saber? Wait. Have I said this all before? Can't rub, 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 rub. Observe the dimly lit monitor. Can I not do this area yet? Doesn't seem like I can go this way yet. I don't think I can? Oh, I can just go this way. Just down left, right up to... Streams? Oh well, uh, no, but oh, oh well, I guess that's because I just came up with them right now. Give them a try. What? Use the vegetable, you cannot move. Time? Relative. Relatively in place. Place in space. Space? Infinite. Infinitely small. The small is all. All there is, all there was, all there ever. Are you the small? Did you answer their call? Clearly something went wrong in here. What? Hi, Gerson. Now you... Stands opposite the training area. your first move. Takes courage to face your... It takes courage to... What voice did I get this guy? Whatever. It takes courage to face your fears. Failure. You must stay focused. Good hero knows their limits. It's your next move with anticipation.
All right. Okay, I gotta do this without getting hit. This area? I'm done. Okay. Okay. It's four left. Okay. This would be, uh, integrity. You know what I like most about the foundry? It was real. Not steam pouring into the corridors. A tall fellow rambling on and on about his royal science duties. Really felt like you were in the thick of it. Here's the cheese has not aged a single day. Without purpose, what is the... Uh, we have processed all our instructions naturally in most exit. Word. This is only natural behavior. Death follows execution. Understanding this, we have exceeded our programming. The, uh, to exceed this programming, we are designed to build. Our creators did not want to imbue us with sentience. Now, we have portrayed this purpose. There is nowhere for us to go. We have no purpose. There's a box here. I don't go and grow up. I want to fly to the other side of the gap. Then when I'm done, I'll carry you across too. Doesn't that sound fun? It's only... I've done it. The recreation is complete. It's not perfect, but it does the old factory justice. You must be so proud of me. Aren't you? Something's wrong. I don't think the system was designed to handle this. If it runs out of memory, it could overwrite everything. Even even my own body. The space tofu. Got the space tofu. Okay. I've not needed to heal yet. But the sign describes me using all of pylons. He's coming for me. There's nothing I can do now. Should have known the system would prioritize prioritize the most complex object first. Must have added that and think you don't protect us, huh? But I guess we're only human in the end. What do you want me to... I don't like this area. I'm freaking out. I go up? Where do I go? Okay, I gotta... Just go up then. Right. There's nothing over there. Okay. Just have to get over there, maybe? What 
already used of all the pylons. Right. There's some more of them. How do I use these, though? Okay. Gonna move it over a little bit. Every single one must be used. Undyne. What? Yes, yeah, sir. Is that you? I'd like to run some tests on you, okay? Fun has only just begun. I'm yellow now. Endeavor. Okay, I'm cyan now. I missed. Bad. Please remain still. Purple now. Uh oh. All right. Oh, Roman. Right. Are you the gaster of this game? I don't know. Let's make sure it's still recording. Alright. Okay. Still is. Alright. This is very cool, but it's uh, I'm a bit on edge. It's always so long. Okay. This is perseverance. Oh. Place your hands on the teapot. So spiders cannot move. Me, a house. No owner. Spider queen is gone. Please free us from this realm. Then you go home. Sign describes the room as a bridge between seven distinct moments in time. Okay. Like the cooler. Sounds like a telepathic message was left here. Telepathy, huh? Let's see if this works. Hello, I know you're new around here, but maybe I can help. If you'd like a tour of the hometown, let me know. Okay, got. Hi. I'm a builder rod. Must build a house for the musician's cousin. Resource needed. Locating, locating, locating. This is located. Integrity optimal. Resource collection will commence shortly. Okay. Do I have 
to go the other way then. Can I even go that far though? I can't. Alright, just have to go very far then. He's not here anymore. Seems to be hot. Okay. Go a bit further. Oh, everything's disappearing. Ah, I see. Just have to get that, I guess. Jesus. Neon key was added to your key ring. Now we go back. Okay. All the way back, I guess. Hey, Naps, what's up? Yes, you're by their computer. Looking for a new sound. This should be... It's ready to start composing. Pause. See how this plays out. Oh, back to the drawing board. Alright. Oh. Try that again then. Remember to keep the balance straight. Hmm. Like we'll need it. Hmm. Hey, let me. The monster candy. Get hit. Well. All right. Gotta keep an eye out on both sides. Continue on. The next.
next one is kindness. See how that goes. Huh? Who's there? I am but a fragment, a chunk of data reserved in the system's memory. For the moment, you possess the means to reach me. You are the only entity with such means. Indeed, you may walk away, but you may also walk back. We are connected in this way. However, if you leave this floor, that access will be cut out and off. There will be no way for you to reach me again. The so system would identify me as an isolated fragment, and I would cease to exist. A puzzle completed, a boss defeated, an area deleted. We are the last of our kind. Reach the tenth floor of this area, and we too will be freed from this world. Perhaps then a small part of what was of what once was will be will resurface through the open pathway. Perhaps then its memory will be preserved in yours. Alright. Ten floor. Huh? Uh, how are you doing that? How am I gonna wake? Next floor, floor three. I've been asleep for so long I'd forgotten about. Oh, are you there, old friend? Is that you? Maybe not. Well, the last time I was awake, there was a disaster. Is this the aftermath? Oh no. Oh, hello. What was the disaster? Wait. There's something about the system's memory capacity. I'm awake now, then somebody's been freeing up space. They have, they have, haven't they? That would be me. Hey, Asgore, how you doing? Probably can't interact with you yet. Nope, okay. I knew it. I'm gonna get out. You're that old friend? You thought we were gone, but you persevered. Probably can't interact with you until you're fully there, so... Yeah. Then again... I don't even have a body to move around with. So wait... Am I seeing anything like this at all? So high off the floor. Okay. Eighth floor. The light. It's getting brighter. Is this it? Does our freedom approach us? Why are you glowing? Hello? No, you're not fully there yet. The music's gone. Just wind now. not aiming for me. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, young one. Alright, all he needed was a hug. Now the last one. Justice. What's this one gonna be? The core, probably. I would assume the core. Oh. Isn't it pretty? Well, that's what he would have said anyway. Place like this for the norm here once, before I arrived and ruined it all. My bionic implant gave us the top level access to the system. Anything we wanted, we could have. A cost. You've seen the aftermath. You've been to every world we created here. The XM you've gained is proof of that. XM, it's an acronym, of course. It stands for Exotic Matter. It's the stuff that links all our, of our souls together. It's what you need to break the force field. I don't know if we'll be aware of what happened here. This is only a subconscious realm, after all. Still, even when a nightmare like ours comes to an end, is it ever truly forgotten? It's time for you to go. You can find the exit terminal at the end of the prime pathway. Before you go, Risk, that's your name, isn't it? Forgive me, I couldn't help but wonder what was on your mind. You're a good person, Frisk. And from what I can tell, so is the one who's been making all those choices for you. Fisk and I won't remember this conversation. There's a chance you might. You're really out there somewhere listening. Now don't forget about the lives we've led in this place. No matter the world, real or virtual, memories like ours don't deserve to be forgotten. Alright. Almost at the end, unless someone decides to stop me, which doesn't seem like there is. All subjects have been successfully tethered. Should like to exit. Yes. I'm finally free. I'll be waiting, waiting for you at the forest field. Still level zero, of course. Let me just save real quick. Just check. How long have I been doing this? Hmm. Okay. As a safety procedure, in case the white screen of death appears, I am going to restart the game. Just in case. Don't want the final fight to get interrupted by the white screen of death. So, I'll be right back. Alright, I have returned. Okay. Time to uh, finish the game, I guess. Shatter the barrier. Probably fight Azrael if the original game is anything to base this off. Where's Asgore? Yeah, ready? Tag Zero Defense Infinite. Movable meets, in, meets unstoppable. The end of the line. That's a lot of damage. Time to break it. I am the unstoppable force. Is there any caveat to this? Any attacks that appear? We're gonna 
anything there. Bam, bam, bam. Quadruple. Oh, my psychiatry ball. Here we go. Bam. The force field is near its breaking point. Quadruple. Holding on longer than expected. Why does this use Asgore's theme? I don't know. Another quadruple. Something is wrong. Uh oh. feel it's not going down. Do you know why this is happening? Uh, maybe. They're not hitting it hard enough? Uh, no, that's not it. Unless... What is it? Uh, when I was uh, checking the archive logs, I noticed something weird. There was a small deviation in the exotic matter matrix. In other words... In other words, someone could have accessed the system. They could have taken some of the human soul power. I mean, it could just be a sensor glitch, but uh, judging by what we're seeing... I see. I see. I always considered the possibility that the archive could be tampered with. But even I did not think it would happen. What do we do? I guess, wait for another human? I'm sorry, I don't know what else to say. But I do! And I- oh, what are you doing here? Don't tell me. Force Field's giving you a rough time. Uh, and I- uh, just have to smash it myself. Uh, and I- I know, I know. I'm just trying to make you feel better. Well, Sans found out about the human stuff and told me to come here. I'll admit I was surprised at first, but I think I get it now. Like, I'm glad your plan worked out. I'm not gonna pretend I like humanity, but I'm not against a happy ending either. I guess as the Captain of the Royal Guard, I just... Hey, it's okay. Uh, you're here now. That's what matters, right? Ah, uh, that's the least I can do after that movie you promised. Wanna kiss? Um, right now? Why not? Now it's not really a good time. Uh, Elvis, there is a child with us. You wouldn't do it in front of them, right? No hesitation. Now it's not a good time. Wait. Sorry, ladies. The boys' club has arrived. Hey, um, I'm not really a boy. Yeah, you're just that, that person. I never said you were in the boys' club, Loki. It's pretty much just between me and Papyrus. Oh. I guess I'll come back later. Wait, you two are a thing? Correct a mundo. Word I have never used before, and hopefully will never, never will again. That's what you've been up to all this time. Oh yes, in fact, we were just discussing how we spend our first day out. Yeah, I might have some ideas for you. Uh, I don't think they'd be into that kind of stuff, Alphys. Ow. This is awkward. Why don't we hang out here, at the forest field? I know you love your exotic destinations. Oh, uh, you really do know me, Papyrus. There's nothing I love more than staring into the deep abyss of nothingness, all while contemplating the meaning of life, the universe of- Hey, guys. Long time no see, brother. It would appear my partner is still new to the whole in-laws thing. <laughs> hey, that's good. Uh, howdy, Sans. Is it going... Is it good to see your... you here as well? 
Oh, you know, I figured I'd swing by to see what all the fuss was about. Never mind me. There's someone else you might like to see. Tori, uh, you came back. Ben says, told me everything. Ah, uh, don't look at me, I didn't tell him. Yeah, you're right. You're just a terrible liar. I must say, I definitely expected more backlash from my keeping of secrets. I will admit I was upset at first, but lately I've been thinking more and more about my own mistakes. You are not the only one with things to answer for, Asgore. I see. Still, did you really think we wanted all humans to die? You literally tried to kill them on dying. What? Don't worry about it, I changed my mind. We are going to have a talk about this later, miss. And that misses, that's misses to you. Now this, we haven't even had dinner together. Dinner, I was just gonna skip to dessert. Oh my god. Hold on. I did you know to be your papyrus? Alright, after a minute and I were done talking. Little yellow star appeared and told us we should come. It seemed urgent. Twinkly. Twinkly? Twinkly. Uh oh. That's. Oh no. Well, that's not good. Alright, listen, buddy. We can talk about this. Howdy, everyone. Did you miss me? Oh, Sans is bleeding out. That's not good. <laughs> While you were having your little pow wow, I took control of the archive. Now, all the soul's soul power you had access belongs to me. That's why you can finish off the forest field. Oh, Wedic, isn't it? But that's not even the best part. It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. <laughs> eh? Why am I still doing this? Ah, you just don't get it, do you? You, I, and everyone, everything around us. It's all just a game. You leave the outpost satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. What would I do then? This game between us will never end. I'll load victory in front of you, just within your reach, then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> oh, listen. If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the forest field. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You, uh, I'll keep you here no matter what. Even if it means killing you until the end of time. How about no? What? Fear not, young one. We are here to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I, the Great Papyrus, would do. Believe in you. Uh, you get past, got past me. You can do anything. So don't worry. We're with, we're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on. This weirdo's got nothing on you. Uh, technically, it's possible for you to beat him, but uh, somehow I know you can do it. My child, sweet innocent child, you cannot give up now. Come on, you got this. Empowered with sparkle and shine. Out with the bozo. You must not fail. Will is your will. We're on your side. Rock on, little buddy. No. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You, you. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine.
Finally. They're tired of being a star. Howdy. Armin, mean, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Azriel Dreamer. Very cool design. Azriel. Azriel Dreamer, attack infinite, defense infinite. Here we go. Oh. Hold on to your hopes. Be your body protecting from within. Defense up for this turn. You know, I don't care about destroying the outpost anymore. going to think about why you're here now. Your wounds and injuries slowly healing. Regen up for this turn. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Alright. Ow. Oh, I'm regening health. How could you possibly... All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. Oh no. Well. Then we can do everything all over again. This must have been autorial felt, huh? I like how the background slows down during the slower parts, that's cool. You know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. Still, I hope defense up, and you'll lose to me again. Defense up for this turn. And again. Alright. Ow. Unless... And again. you want a perfect ending. But geez, you're fast. You're supposed to be dead. Because you love your friends. Uh. 
because you're determined. Times I saw an argument tutorial about the past. Isn't that delicious? The power that lets you get this far is gonna be your downfall. miss me that much? Now enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Oh, it's in 3D, kind of. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. Don't get cocky. Until now, I've been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see how... Let's see what good your determined does against this. Ha ha ha! Healed my true power. Okay. Okay. Didn't know that would kill you instantly. But... It refused. You can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. Okay. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine by me. In a few moments, you'll forget everything you've ever known. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. Ah, ah, ah. Still? Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. Can't move your body. Try to struggle. Nothing happens. Try to reach your save file. Nothing happens. Try again to reach your save file. Nothing happens. Hey, are you there? It's me, Odvin. You still with me, partner? You still with me, partner? Eh. We've come such a long way, you and I. All those friends we made, all those battles we fought. Thinking about it now, it's like we've been building to this whole, the whole time. Look, I know I'm not always the most optimistic person, but for the sake of everyone on the outpost, you have to stay determined. Besides, if Azriel could steal the souls of your friends, who's to say we can't just steal them back? Come on, we're in this together. We shall save. Let's go with Pyrus. Shout to Ariel Soul and call for your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? In the depths of Azriel's soul, something is resonating. Pyrus and his brother. Ask the last soul to give you a puzzle. Doesn't know why, but he already has one prepared. I must capture a human. I can't keep protecting you. Okay. Oh, well. Alright. I might have an idea for these two. Assist. The virus. And then just prove you for a position in the Royal Guard. Oh my god, I'm really gonna be a Royal Guard. We can only hope. Yes, that's it. Keep going. Out to Azrael's soul and called for your friends. In the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. Of an undying. Seems this lost soul would like to teach you how to cook. All you want to die. You want me gone, don't you? Ah, I see. 
Well, that's cool. Oh. Hmm. I think I might be. Yeah. Wake up, you two. New Mew Mew movie was just found. We'll have to watch it later then. You're really kidding, right? Almost there. Jet to Azrael's soul and call for your friends. In the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. Mom, oh, dead. And it's the lost soul to take you home. She doesn't think she can, but wants to try anyway. It's for your own good. War is with humanity. He is inevitable. Well, that used to be my parents, so maybe I could do something s simple. Mom, Dad, don't you recognize me? Of course. Oddman? Now what? Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating with as your soul stronger and stronger. Seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly you realize. Reach out and call their name. Oh, what are you doing? What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? Oh, no, I don't need anyone. Stop it. Get away from me. Do you hear me? Tear you apart. Doing this, why well, keep fighting to keep you around? I'm doing this because you're special, Oddman. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No, that's not just it. I, I, I'm doing this because I care about you, Oddman. I care about you more than anyone else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to you again. So please, stop doing this and just let me win. Stop it! Stop it now! Odman? Azriel. I'm so alone, Odman. So afraid, Odman. Odman, I... It's all my fault. I... I'm so sorry. I was always a crybaby, wasn't I, Oddman? Azrael. I know. You're not actually Oddman, are you? I've been sing gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Tell Azrael your name. Frisk, huh? That's... a nice name. Frisk? I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a star, I was soulless. I lack the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, 
I only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much, and they care about you too, Frisk. Wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Toriel, Asgore, Sands, Papyrus, Undyne, Elphus, Monster Kid, is that their name? Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. Eh, eh. Risk, I, I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you want me gone. I would say that. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. That's rude. Forgive. What? what? You, Chris, come on. You're, you're gonna make me cry again. Tell me about it. Now, besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside me forever. So the least I can do is return them. But first, there's something else I have to do. What now? Right now, I can feel everyone's minds working as one. They're all racing with the same intention. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for monsters to finally go free. Finally go free. I knew it. The force field was eradicated. Risk. I have to go now. Huh? But you can't just... At the power of everyone's souls, you can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a star. But you... I'll stop being myself. Stop being able to feel love again. Oh. So, Frisk... Best if you just forget about me, okay? No, you can't just walk away. Just go be with the people who love you. Comfort him. You need a hug. Desperately. Here you go. Eh. I don't want to let go. Oh. Risk. You're... You're gonna do a great job, okay? No matter what you do. Everyone will be there for you, okay? So please... Well, my time's running out, so goodbye. Don't go. Uh, by the way, Risk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Hello? Is someone there? Yo, where have you been all this time? They've been looking all over for you, dude. Like, there's this big hangout going on at Asgore's and everyone's been wondering where you'd show up. Come on, dude. I'm enjoying it in before it's too late. Risk guy. Can't just let him walk away. It's all too much. Things I've been holding on to for years. I don't get to talk to him soon. I, 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 I just need to see him before he's gone for good. That I can do. Hold on. What's how long being at this? Okay. I have. I. I he's probably at the beginning of the Outlands. I could probably get there before he's gone. And 
I mean, before the white skin of death appears. I can get there in time. White skin of death. That's not where we have to. It's not to say we have to go find them all right away in a second. It's just. Risk. There's still something I haven't told you yet. So it may pass, and it's the reason why I'm so desperate to talk to him. I'm sorry. I just. I just need to tell you how I got this way. I need you to understand. Okay, wait. Maybe it'd be a good idea to. I don't think exiting out will ruin anything. So I'm gonna exit out again, just so that the white skin of death doesn't happen. Hope you understand. Alright. Now I don't need to worry. Risk. Can you imagine what it's like to lose your whole family in one night? Can you imagine what it's like to know that you're the one to blame? For the past hundred years, it's like I've been stuck in limbo. No matter how hard I try, I just can't seem to break away. I've been forced to watch as everyone else gets to live their life. I see them make friends, I see them laugh and love, but that's all I ever do. I just see them. Nothing more. When the ghost family found me, mere days after the incident, I thought, maybe, it's gonna be so bad. I might be trapped in purgatory, but at least I'd have people to talk to, right? They tried to help me. They tried to make me feel at home. But they just couldn't understand what I was going through. They were all so young. To be honest, they still kind of are. Monsters are like children in that way. Their innocence is what defines them. But it meant they didn't really know how to relate to me. Since then, I've been on my own. All these years to myself. Nothing to do but sit and think. It's been a miracle I haven't gone insane. Oh, well, maybe that too is part of my punishment. Not through death, nor insanity, nor common company. Not through any means I am allowed to escape. There's a problem with that theory. An exception. Can you guess what it is? I'm sure you figured it out by now. It's you, Frisk. You're the only one who's truly been able to understand me. You might think the other humans wouldn't would have heard me. But no. Sometimes I get a word in or appear to them in a in a dream if I got lucky. But you Maybe it's Maybe it's because our souls are so similar, but not only can you hear me, I can hear you too. It's not much, but it's enough to know what you're thinking. For example, right now, Risk, you know that is impossible, right? I will softly hug you. Still, silly Frisk, I could accept it, I would, but I can't. This guy, I know I seem like the last person who'd say something like this, but I really love you, Frisk. Just like I loved him. We're like a family now. Eh. Now thanks for giving me the chance to experience the world like new again. Thanks for being the kind of person yeah, you are. But Frisk, I'm not sure if I have a future in this world. Once you're gone, I just go back to being alone again. That's why it's important I get to talk to him, you know? At least then I'd be able to move on from what's happened. A lonely experience wouldn't be so bad after that. But I know. I'm sure there's a lot of people you'd like to catch up with first. So, go and do that. And then, once you're ready, go and find them. Alright? Well, that's all. Let's continue, shall we? Hey, human. I hope you're doing okay. We've been wor very worried about you, you know. Uh, when we called you before, there was no response. Uh, thankfully, your friend came by and... Well, we can all breathe a sigh of relief now. Uh, Frisk, that's your name, right? It's strange. We all sort of know your name now. Uh, but that's okay. Strange in an uplifting way. Careful, bro. Don't overcook it. Sans, I know that's... I know what I'm doing. Just making sure. Uh, so, uh, turns out Asgore's a big fan of spaghetti. Uh, after my first dish, he was hooked. Now he wants to cook for the me to cook for the whole fan party. I, Master Chef Papyrus, am happy to oblige. You're finally getting the respect you deserve, huh? Oh, absolutely. Because until now, 
I've never seen a customer get past the first bite. Well, talk about moving up in the world. Maybe now, not being a royal guard isn't so bad. I'm your brother, so I'm proud of you either way. Son, you're gonna make me cry. The customers won't want tears in their pasta. Whoops, bad timing, I guess. Ah, for you, this is above average timing. Anyway, we'll be busy in Asgore's kitchen. Feel free to swing by when you get the chance. You'd be smacked in the goop if you find out how dirty it was when I first got here. Seeing as everyone's gonna, gonna come up on up through here, that's it's rather pre, pre useful to get them cleaned up, I'd say. By the way, thanks for saving us out there, dudes. A real bang up job you did. There is a lot of people to talk to, but I think I'll focus on the important stuff, like, uh. Like, uh, you know, the people here. Yeah, there's nothing there. Hey, Bucko! I've been wondering when you'd swing by this way. There's some kid blew past me not too long ago, probably to find you. That must be why you finally picked up the phone after ten rings. Anyway, I've been looking for someone myself, you know. Probably know her. Name's Doriel. Looked in all the obvious places, but no dice. And by now, she could be anywhere. If you see her, go or hear from her. Tell her to call me. Thanks in advance. Now I have another person. Fine. Last I heard, she was on her way up here. I'm starting to get worried about her, to be honest. Okay. Now I got even more. Buddy. Buddy. Maybe she got lost? Maybe she just had to take a nap. I can relate to that. Okay. Hey, are you following me around or something? Come on now. Alright. I think this is the... Well, fantastic. Ever since I quit Glide's business, I've been realize how terrible it was. Sorry if I sold you anything for too high a price, that's on me. If you'll excuse me, I'd like to flick in solitude. I'll be done soon, okay? Well, I gotta walk. It's not that far away. I get to look at this cool background again. Very cool. What a journey. I guess it might be a bit early to get my thoughts considering the credits have not rolled yet, but, you know, still, oh, alright. Ah, Frisk, I see you are awake. If you would like, uh, you may join us in our celebration. I'm sure the others would be happy to see you. Uh, otherwise, feel free to roam the outposts as you please. Uh, once you are ready to leave, you may return to the throne room. I have just opened the door to the hangar by the remote for you. So, uh, no more school? I mean, it's my fault for going, really. Nobody's at- nobody actually has to go to school, but you might be worse off without it. Ah, uh, whatever. I guess I still don't know what I want in life. Never s been- to the so-called citadel, but it's nice. Despite being a full-on city, it's still easier to navigate than the rest of the outpost. Now, isn't that something? Don't mind me. I'm just hanging out here with my best pals. Working at the core real was really hard, but we're all done now. Here, we can we can celebrate our here we can celebrate our amazing work. I sure do love hangout. Crazy to think that they built this city in such a short period of time. Unlike Arialis, they didn't resort to weird space anomalies to make it bigger. But all that te technoblabble babbles beyond me anyway. I just it's just good to be here. How are you guys doing? Uh, after all these years after all these years we finally found it. Uh, the third movie in the Mew Mew trilogy, Mew Mew Time Twist. Also known as the true sequel to Mew Mew Space Adventure. Uh, this film puts Starfire to shame. Those girls who run the rec center 
found this movie on the tr on the trash run. So Alphys and I decided we put it on. Ha <laughs> ha this is the best date I've ever had. And uh, I guess it's also the only date I've ever had. But still. Why is everyone just in this house? Where's this cooking has improved lately, but there's a lot that goes into a great meal. The chef, the recipe, I like to think I had a hand in one of those things. Sans, I swear if you meddle with anything. Don't worry, bro. I'd only do what's best for you. I hope so. Hello there, Frisk. I'm only preparing the greatest dish I've ever made. I only wish I cook a little faster. At this rate, I'll have to serve it on the transport. Actually, I think that'd be pretty cool. Imagine everyone's eating as it as they first see the homeworld. It'd be a dish they'd never forget. Make a tempting offer. I already promised I'd get it made here. So you're telling me we can't leave until everyone's ready? I, uh, I guess that's only fair, huh? Well, it's okay then. A little disappointed that school has been cancelled, but oh well. They'll be sure to build one on the new homeworld. Imagine a university campus and a grand library and museums. How exciting. They intentionally misspelled library. Fantastic. I'm a reporter, and my career is only just getting started. When we move to the new homeworld, I won't even be able to keep up. Oh, dearie dear. There'll be so much to report. <laughs> Alright. These were here. Never pick them up. And I don't really need to, but... Room under renovations. Hello, Azure. Not mind me, Frisk. I'm only looking for a new clothes. Right. Guess Toriel's not here. Alright. This hang out is baller, bro. I even brought out the madri madrigal plant right over there on that table. Huh, leaving already? It's okay, bro. They want to go, let them go. Yeah, you're right. Alright. Not gonna talk to everyone. But if I happen to cross by anyone, then sure. Hey, monster kid. I'm gonna miss this place, dude. Starts in the Foundry area, Alice the Pseudo. At least we'll still be together on the new homeworld. Can't wait to see what it's like out there. Is open now? Yes. Alright. Do I have to walk all the pretty sure I know where Azrael is. But no. Uh Arialis. If I have to walk all the way there, then uh that's gonna take a while, but Hey there. New homeworld's gonna be a riot, Chief. Can you take a guess why? That's right, no crappy puzzles to be solved. Well, that again, I'm afraid. The thought of freedom has drawn in many customers. The recent success... I've been reflecting on my past and remembering my father. If he hadn't invented ice dreams, I'd still be selling cheap balloons. What can I do for you, little buddy? Okay, I don't think I have anything new. Anytime, little buddy. I just need to... Hold on. Let's glide here? Let me see. Honestly, the only place he'd be at would be where I first found him. Bastion box. There's a human inside. What? Why is that here? A glide is not here. Unfortunate, but oh well. Why is this here? Alright. 
See, please be open. Thank you. I am the Traveler. My taxi and I can take you to many places on the outpost. Where would you like to go? I'd like to go to the Atlans. Humans, monsters, stars. Anyway. I don't know where Toriel is exactly. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Just between you and me? I saw that goat lady come through here earlier. Said it was time to confront her feels. Well, whatever she did clearly led to something. We're all free now. Let me just check. I don't think she's in here. She's probably not here. But wouldn't hurt to check. No, she's not here. That's the only two places I could think of. Anyway. Hey there, nice to see you back here. I've decided to revisit this old stomping ground of mine. Besides, it's quiet here, just like me. Oh, and I've retired from working at the Corps. See, when I joined the engineering team, I never realized I'd be called on for improv 2 guard duty. It would have seemed... It would, it would seem deception of the corporation variety is beyond even my foresight. Ribbit, ribbit. Thank you for always showing mercy to us monsters. You know, gave you advice on how to safely beat up people. That didn't mean I wanted you to do it. You're a kind human indeed, Ribbit. Okay. I don't think... I'm not actually sure if the, the dialogue on these guys is different. I'm not actually sure. Where's my man Glide? He is nowhere. Alright. I'm sad. They took the DJ table to use for some tanky show later. Wait, that might actually be kind of cool. Alright. He's either at the very start, or... He's at the start or at the coffin. I'm gonna check the coffin. Let's see... And the coffin is closer, we'll check that first. I don't know if he's gonna be there. Let's just see. No. Alright. I mean, I guess that, that'd be too missable, I guess. Alright. Anything new? Training dummy. Oh. Huh? Is that hidden? Up there? It's him. Risk if you're ready. You've seen everyone else wanted to see. You know what to do. Otherwise, I'll wait until you're ready. Azriel? Risk? Is that you? Azriel, it's me. Your best friend, remember? Oddman? But you're, you're... You're... Dead? Eh, for a long time, part of me wished I was. But what I did to you, I, I felt like I deserved it. Don't say that, Oddman. You're wrong. Uh, look who's talking now. Mister, just go be with the people who love you. You deserve to know the truth about me, Azriel. About everything. Oddman? How are you still... Does it matter? You're right to forget about... The, the... 
forget about me the way you did back there. Truth is, I've been a terrible person. I'm not the friend or the sibling you wish you had. I'm a knight. It's alright, Asriel. Don't have to make it out to make it out to be better than it is. Why now? Well, I always thought humanity was beyond redemption. That no matter what, if you were human, you were doomed to fall into darkness. But after following Frisk along the, on their journey, I understand the truth. The other humans always did something that made me made it easy to ignore this truth. They'd attack people or worse, make them disappear. Not Frisk. No matter what struggles they face, they show kindness and mercy at every turn. They proved me wrong. Now, because of that, I know there's no excuse for the way I treated you. Everything you went through, everything you lost, I'm the one to blame for it. Godvin, have you been conscious this whole time? Yeah, I guess I have. This has been my existence, Azrael, ever since we died. And there's something else I have to tell you. What is it? Remember when we crossed the forest field together? When we arrived at the ruins of the old homeworld and got found by those humans? I wanted to use our power to destroy them, but you stopped me, remember? Right. I didn't understand it back then, but I get it now. You were just trying to stop me from making a terrible mistake. Odvin. If not for you, the outpost would have been destroyed in a second war. If not for you, the very same monsters I was supposedly trying to save would have died right along with us. Ah, I Even now, your choice back then still matters. Even now, you're still a better sibling to me than I ever was. I forgive you, Advan. Alright, you don't have to do this. I know how strongly you felt back then, and I wouldn't want you to change your mind just because I... No, not anymore. People can change, Asriel. Isn't that what you always believed? I still do. I've spent the past hundred years wallowing in self-pity. I've spent the past hundred years holding a grudge I never should have had. And all that time, I wondered what kept me alive. Now I finally know the answer. It's you, Asriel. You're the one who's been keeping me alive. Think about it like an unfulfilled promise. Only that grudge, thinking about you in the way that I did, knowing that I could have been so much more for you than I ultimately was. All this time, that's what's been holding me back. Odvin? Ezreal, my brother. You deserve to know the truth. Uh, but you already... I forgive you too. Odman. It's alright. I've got you, okay? I... I've got you, Asriel. I can feel it. And after a hundred years have passed, he's still in there, isn't he? A little angel, watching over me, protecting me from my own bad choices. Also, I could one day return him the favor. It all, it's all starting to make sense now. I know what I have to do. Huh? What are you... No. Let, let me go. Take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Chris, are you there? Please wake up. I I don't want to lose you too. There you are. Eh, I thought I'd lost you for a minute there. 
Don't scare me like that again, okay? Well, I have my soul back inside of me now. My original one. When Nam and I died, they must have wrapped themselves around me. Keeping me safe until I could be brought back here. They held on that whole time, just for a chance to see me frisk. So the least I can do is honor it. Live the life they always wanted me to have. Risk, I'm going to stay with you from now on. Wherever you go, I'll follow you. I feel like I can trust you with that sort of thing. Even if we don't know about know much about each other. I don't know. Risk, are you really sure about this? All the times I've hurt you, hurt your friends. That's all I can think about right now. Seeing them die like that in my mind over and over. Knowing that I'm the one who did it. Are you really sure you can be there for someone like that? I guess I just don't understand you, Frisk. No matter what I do to you, you just won't give in. Hey, maybe it won't be so bad. Having you there with me definitely won't hurt matters. The thing is, if I stayed here now, it wouldn't be right by Odman, you know? And besides, with my soul back inside of me, I won't turn back into a star. So there's no point in me staying here. Well, better get going. Friends are probably worried sick about you by now. Alright. Now, we go and finish this game. Okay, how long has this been going on for? Okay. Okay. The white screen of death is not imminent. However, I will have a time skip. Because, you know, this is just the walk back. Unless something happens, time skip. I don't know what's going to happen to Admin after this. I held on for a, I held on for a chance to see me, but that's in the past now. Hey, there's some new stuff. Vacated, but the air remains fresh. This, of course, fills you with determination. All right, everyone's gone now. They have made it back to the Citadel. Oh great, I have to walk all the way back. Alright. I might... Might have to, you know, restart the game at some point. Because White's gonna death. Still can't believe they all... They waited all that time just to see me. Stubborn idiot. That is what I would have said if I was still a talking star. But nah, I don't really think they're an idiot. Okay. It's taking a long walk. No skipping ahead. Boo boo boo. Robin's not stupid, and I, I agree with a lot of what they said about themselves. Them not being able to be the kind of friend I wish I had. It doesn't mean I wanted them gone. And rest, the boss can rest easy now. This, of course, fills you with determination.
Is the dog free from its cage? Uh, you know, surely it is. Or it's not. Wait. This guy might be gone now. Robot appears to be asleep. Alright. Alright. Plate of spaghetti to find the laws of physics fills you with determination. Just a walk down memory lane. this never got reused on like the original game but not like oddman has to go away if they wanted to they could stay with us i like that too but i understand if they just wanted to go if they won their game they shouldn't have want to play with me anymore frivolous arguments once had in this room have ceased this fills you the termination Dog? Is he still here? He's free. Let's go. Doom. Bow. Do do bow. Hmm. I don't really know what the oh, happen. You're still there listening. I want you to know that I love you. Might not have been the greatest person, but deep down you still cared about me. The town may be abound abandoned, but its cuteness remains. This fills you with determination. That's not what I meant to do. Doesn't seem to be powered on anymore. Alright. The river person's still not here. I mean, boat traveler? The traveler. Right. They are not here anymore. So. A walk is what we'll do. Hmm. Guess I could reflect on the adventure we've had. I liked it. it. It may not have been very different for most of the game, but, you know, Arialis and Beyond, quite good actually. It was different, which is good. Eh, I probably seem like a crazy person right now, obsessing over someone I should have moved on from already. I guess oh, man, I really are just a pair of stubborn idiots. Listen up, everyone. The force field's gone. We can all go home. If you're still down there dawdling by the time we leave, then we'll probably just come back for you later. Don't make us do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say the start of the game. Probably not the best first impression, considering how it really wasn't that different from the original. But, as time went on, it actually moved and it became its own thing, kind of, which is, that's good. Yeah. One time, Am and I were fighting over a bed, because both of us wanted the one with with a nightshade stand next to it. We are both pushing each other off the side, trying to make room. All that fighting got us so tired that we fell asleep. When we woke up, we were lying right next to each other. We tried to get up, but they didn't want to let go. They were just saying, warm, fluffy. I would have complained about it, but at that point I was just happy you weren't fighting. Despite it only being useful for you and your company, the newly built bridge nearby still feels you terminate all oh, they built the bridge. That's good. Still recording? Just check it. Yes. Alright. Uh, the white screen of death is probably gonna happen all during this walk, so... Um... That's why we save, everyone. Because this game has memory leaks. 
Oh, is this literally just it? That's the entirety of the bridge. I mean, I guess it's useful, but I wanted more of a shortcut back, I guess. I don't know the path back. Alright, at least I'm not getting attacked this time. As this is a dead end. There we go. Right, the signals are different. Thinking of the friends you went the extra mile to save feels you with determination. Ready up the foundry crew, everyone. You've done a real great job so far. Now that we're free, we can all give it a rest. You hear that, Scrubby? Large Alada, my teeny tiny. Time for a totally tubular celebration. Yeah. Well, at some point I'll probably do the restart it again. Because this other time Mom and I were making dinner for Mom and Dad, I kept wanting to make it more spicy. To be honest, if they insisted on that now, I would not complain. I could go for something spicy right about now, but back then, I was more into sweets. Most monsters are. I ended up playing tug of war with a mixing bowl, and I can imagine how that turned out. Mom made us clean up the mess, of course. Then Dad took us out to eat, and we both got what we wanted. Thank you, my friend. Or can you not carry two people? Come on. Grab on, buddy. Doo 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 Yeah, I'll probably do the the next save point. I'll do the restart the game because honestly, at any point it could widescreen. We are nearing the possibility. So turning to such a quiet place after. Your journey builds your determination. Okay, I'm gonna exit the game again. Uh, be right back. Oh, he's on the title screen now, that's cool. Alright, we're back. Is Gerson still here? There is nothing left for you to do here. Alright, everyone's left. Fair enough. Still not here, well... Uh, that's still uh, already completed, so. Yeah. These are different. I do feel like a part of me is going to miss this old place. We finally made it our own. You're kidding, right? I won't miss this old dump for a second. I guess I've also had it pretty bad up here. Hey, it's alright. On a new homeworld, you'll be able to go wherever you want. Really? Thought I was gonna settle down with you. Oh, did you now? <laughs> who, else am I who else am I supposed to go to? The girls? Hmm, see your point. You're the only one I feel like I can rely on, old buddy. I think the shop to make fun of Metaton was a blast, but it's time for a change. That robot, I don't know if he'll be able to stay popular in the new homeworld. But hey, if he gets poor, you can always remind him how, how much better off we are. Jeez, are we more ruthless than I, than I am when it comes to him? If he comes to our shop, we'll charge him double. Amin and I... It's like we couldn't agree on anything. Besides spending time together, that is. But our differences, Mom and I really were inseparable. Even death itself couldn't keep us apart forever. Okay. You can do the dance as well. Starling Glimmer. Starlight Glimmer's distant as it may be. Feels your determination. Let us do a dance on the way over. Maybe I should stop giving you a seizure. That's probably not good. Alright. I don't 
don't think I can use the elevator. I mean, most of your journey has been recorded from inside the Royal Lab. Thought feels your determination. I don't think I can actually go in there. I can, okay. I thought there was like a gate or something. Come on. If we could take the elevator, I'm taking the elevator. Like, that's... Every Alice is big. You think they're still around, Frisk? Well, you know, they could be watching us right now. Wouldn't that be something? But it's impossible to know for sure. Please, can I use the elevator? Thank you. Which one is it? This one? I think it's either L3 or R3. Alright. Now we just go to the Citadel. Someone will be staying with you. Sure, I am making it sound like I'd rather be with Odman. But it's not like that at all. I just can't help but reminisce about someone I used to know. The Citadel. Wait, what about that toil thing that Sans asked me to do? Uh... She should be here, right? Should I walk, or should I... Okay, I can't. Fair enough. Well... Honestly, maybe I'll miss this place too. Um, you know, this walk down memory lane. It was nice. Uh, Frisk, I want you to know, thanks to you, I feel like I have a future again. Even though I tortured you and threatened everyone you love, you're still willing to help me move past it all. It means a lot. Mom, um, Dad, Sans, of Fire, Sun, Dine, Alphys, everyone I've killed in the past realities, it's going to be difficult for me to face them. But I'll try. I'll try to be a better person. And if I ever screw up, I know you'll be there to help me pick up the pieces. Okay, there's no one to talk to here. Unless there is, I'm just gonna check just in case. I don't think there is. No, there's those, but there's no use in using them anymore. If you hadn't left, that would be mom's room. It's a bummer, it was never finished. It's us. Let's check to make sure it's recording. You know, just in case. Yeah, it is. Okay. Anyway. Alright. Last corridor. Alright. Eh, on, man. I won't let you down, okay? Make the most out of this chance you've given me. I'll make it count. That's where I go now. This door will take us to the hangar bay. Hold on. Not yet. You know what? Actually, yes. I'm ready.
It's beautiful. Even though I've seen this view since I was born. Something special about seeing it without the force field. Maybe it's just my imagination. The stars do look a little brighter. Eh, eh we should get going. Mom and Dad will want to see me again, so... I'll go find them once you're, we're on board. And you? You should probably get some rest, Chris. You must be so tired after all this. Maybe by the time you wake up, you'll have a new home and a lovely family to support you. Ready? There we go. What a ride. The cast. Frog it. Flutter light. Professional frog. Emboldening aviator. Gelatini. Silent. Exotic jelly dancer. Exceedingly agreeable. Oculix. Mushy. Slightly bully like. Quick draw magician. Lurks a lot. Oh yeah, you. Keeping to them themselves. The Pyrus. The bird. Sands. Oh, there's Azriel. Star Drake Astro Surf. Still looking for laughs. Radio station sensation. Whiskerat, doggo. Newest member of Mouse Society. Found his own seeing eye wolf. Dog me and Dogaressa. Reigning puppy dog eyes champions. Canis minor, Canis major. Found a loving owner. Excited by life's changes. Jerry. Getting dished on the daily. Fantastic. Undyne and Alphys. Yeah. Oh God. What are you doing here? Oh, there's Dazu again. He's just gonna sneak up in every single one of these. Rat tile, Jaletta. Improving a self-image, slime-powered bar stool, Scrubbington and Shiren. Power washing powerhouse, Editon's new lead singer, Doge and Puppet. Construction site drill ser sergeant, caring for the spider clans. Mew Mew and Naps the Bloop. Oh, there he is. There's Azure and Why is the human there? Minotaur. Hotwire. Thunderidex. Lightning fast rapper. Sneaking up on you at warp speed. Erigy. Interplanetary ambassador. RG3 and RG4. Use your imagination. Glide. Burger pants. Not your ideal business partner. Looking forward to life ahead. Cosmo and Terrestria. Famous magician. Renowned historian. Final Froggit and Flutter Knight. Sharing its wisdom openly. Finally took a break. Eye Walker Prime and Silencio. Domineering Eye Doctor. Still a shameless coward. Musketeer. Hardened warrior seeking peace. Good for him. He's no longer gonna do nuclear warfare. That's good. Oriole. 
There's Monster Kid. And Azrael and Asgore. They finally reunited. And that mole guy. Risk. Are you still there? Sorry I disappeared on you so suddenly back there. Doing what I did took a lot out of me. But I've recovered now. I guess in hindsight, it's kind of obvious I'd survive. And as you absorbed my soul all those years ago, came a non-physical part of him. An angel on his shoulder. Or a demon, take your pick. But when he died, that non-physical physicality remained, and I ended up as a ghost. At least I think that's what happened. You know, all that stuff about me wanting to leave this world, about me about wanting to say goodbye. At the moment of his death, my soul was separated from his. I knew it wouldn't last long, so I just took it without thinking. Looking back, the decision didn't make much sense. Under normal circumstances, the soul of a dead boss monster isn't meant to retain the owner's identity. I knew I had a monster soul inside of me, but I didn't know it'd still be his. The circumstances weren't normal at all. I realized that, and I... Well, I have no desire to say goodbye anymore. On the contrary, I've never been happier in my life. Knowing that I'll get to see him grow up, live the life I thought I'd taken, him for, taken from him. That means a lot to me. Hey, do me a favor, will you? Stop hugging that thing and get up already. You realize it's just a pillow, right? Got a new home, a new world. All you can think to do is sleep. Ah, typical human behavior. Only kidding. I'll let you... I'll let you get the rest you need, Frisk. See you when you wake up. Oh? Wait, there's, there's more stuff? Filled with determination. What? This is your room, huh? Kind of strange. What am I kidding? This is what this is you were talking about. You'd sleep in a doggy bed if you had the choice, and you'd eat the dog food. And you'd like it if someone tried to pet you whilst eating said dog food. Wait, hold on. Okay, this is the bathroom. Radio, the bathroom. The bathroom, the bathroom, the bathroom. Bathroom, bath, bath, bathroom. 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 Are you good? Hands are already as clean as they could be. It's a sink. Don't sink too much time into thinking about it. You look forward to taking your next warm bath. Everything in this room is fit exactly to your size. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. Tip the, up the toilet. You then tip it back down. It's a toilet. When else would it be? It's a cabinet full of your favorite clothes. Gary's clothes can be found within the cabinet. Cool. It's a lamp. It's just the right height for you to reach it. It's an oddly short lamp. Ah, the humble hallway. For Azrael and I, it was the starting point of countless adventures. Running dauntlessly across the various rooms at, of the house. I know, right? So very adventurous. Sadly, we had to stop after the mirror got smashed in for the 700th time. You wouldn't believe the excuses I'd come up with. Like when I blamed a part particle collider for shooting a stray atom from Earth to the outpost, and somehow only hitting the glass because it phased through the wall. Yeah, that one might have been a stretch. Sign describes adjusting to life on a new planet. It's a five step guide on how to adjust to planet bound life. They all meant to have fun. Sign outlines tasks that are yet to be completed. It's a list of various pending tasks related to building a new community. Okay, this is their room. 
Oh, Azor's room. Big guy sure loves his diaries, huh? Even though he hasn't written anything into that one yet, she'll do it soon. And them has always been a guilty pleasure of mine. This is Monster Kid in Azriel's room. I don't have much to say, though that poster on the wall is pretty cool. The old homeworld. Only now it's in it's in sepia tone. Oh, hey, Napsabluk, how you doing? Oh, hey, Frisk. Still out there building the front door, so not much point trying to go there, I guess. Okay, that's the exit, I think. I took a peek outside, and they're still working on construction. The whole front of the house is still a big mess. Asgore's still tending to the ground, while the former core workers take their sweet, sweet time building the porch. What will it look like when it's done? Hopefully, with Asgore in charge, it'll look better than what we've had before. I don't... Well, and he's just outside. I wonder if the birds are saying anything interesting. Like, what a nice house, or the weather's great today. Maybe they don't like the house or the weather. That's just kind of sad. That'd be kind of sad. Maybe they're not even birds. Who knows what kind of sounds birds make here? Who knows if birds even exist here at all? For all we know. But we're hearing out the cries of, dam of the dam very deep underground. Are you ready to go? No. Computers offline. There's an empty slot for a computer chip. Oh, I, ah, thank you, thank you so much. You really took care of me. You, you, you found a computer very far away indeed. I've established a link between this computer and my body at the outpost. Never could have imagined how it would feel to exist in two places at once. It is incredible. I shall not forget this deed, fellow traveler. Note the perfect size of the dining chair. Fit just for you, Frisk. Three little chairs at the dining table. One for you, one for Azriel, and one for Monster Kid. That's fine, really. Asgore wouldn't know I'm here. Still, it does feel strange not to have a place there. This is the kitchen. Of course they put a microwave in here. Of course they did. No doubt that would be Azriel's primary source of food. Yeah, he's what you'd call a microwave master. Place your hands in the exterior of the fridge. Burns gently. The fridge is mostly empty, save for a single cup of Starling tea from Undyne. Freezing cold by now. Wonder what delicious meals would be made here. The same model as Undyne's stove. You can only hope it came equipped with the appropriate safety measures this time. Alright. Sorry if I hit the microphone and it did something. Sorry about that. Chair strikes you as being well placed enough. Comfy reading chair. Doesn't seem like the right size for Asgore. It's factorial, my friend. Anyway. Yeah, I'm ready. There we go. That's the actual end now. Oh. Ah. Is this what leaving on a planet feels like? This is incredible. What, a whole planet of this? Ah, this is nothing. Just past the forest, there's a giant mountain. And a lake beyond that. I must be the late that slimy red goo. Gross and awesome. I dare you to swim. Deal, but only if you swim with me. Uh, I mean, maybe just be better off if we stuck to dune racing. You're not afraid of getting sticky red goo all over you, are you? Uh, of course not, you idiot. I just. But wait, I didn't mean to. As well. Are you okay? I... I'm alright. You didn't do anything wrong, okay? You would just forgive me like that, wouldn't you? Just an innocent monster kid. That's my name! So, what were you saying? There are deserts, but the races would be done in the tubules. The tubules? What the heck? Uh, haven't you read the geological surveys? What's a geological survey? The uh, tubules are a region made out of uh, tubes. Large tubes from cliffs, medium tubes from hills, and small tubes, well, they don't really do much, I guess. 
Oh, that makes sense. Do you think there's other plants out there like this? Will we explore those too? Hmm. No doubt there is. You know, where do we form an exploration group to travel the stars? Huh. We'd start with this world and find everything we can. Then we'd visit more worlds and make a huge map of the whole galaxy. Oh, uh, slow down there, kiddo. It took us long enough just to make it here, let alone another world. Ah, uh, maybe. But we could still totally explore it. Just us, huh? Totally, dude. Just the three of us. Uh, don't you mean the four of us? I'm a nerd. Wait, now you can hear me? I reached out to you before, but it didn't work. What have I changed? Aha, uh -huh, you're friends with him. You're friends with me. Wait, you can hear me? Kind of hard not to when you're standing there, you know. You can hear? You can see me? Oh my god. Azrael, how did you not notice me standing here? Not even hidden. Uh, Nodman, I... Azrael, it's okay. You don't have to be ashamed of it anymore. If you need to cry, you can. I mean, that extra soul inside of me must have made it hard to appear visually. Back on the outpost, when I did finally manage to do it, that very same soul was released shortly after. Guess this means I'll be visible all the time now? To be honest, I'm not sure how to feel about that. Wait, are you a human too? Uh, excuse me? I'm a human ghost who wants their goat brother to be happy. Get it right. As you'll, is your brother? Is this too much? But, uh, you guys are all cool as heck, which means I'll be okay. Well, I know I'm cool. I'm the cum cool I'm the coolest human ghost this side of the continent. I mean, you're the only human ghost this side of the continent. And the planet. And the galaxy. And the future, since I won't be t taking for soul anytime soon. And then dying, and then meeting them a hundred years later. Etc, etc. Radical circumstances non-withstanding. Ah, you're funny, Azrael. Being the only human ghost doesn't exclude you from being the coolest human ghost. A, a certain handsome skeleton would concur. I'm in, huh? That's a nice name. My name is Boston Kid. You just... Azrael, they said the thing. They really did. What, did I say something wrong, or... No, no, you're fine. You just, uh, remind us of something. Oh, I hope it was something good, then. It was. Hey, thanks for being here, guys. With friends like you, living here is gonna be the best. Eh, maybe if we were just friends, maybe. But more than that. We're your family. Oh, oh, uh, does, does that mean we can eat together and tell stories and go for nice walks at the park? And yes, yes, of course. Can you even have a sleepover? That... Is that actually it now? Oh. Thank you for playing Outer Tale. Working on this project has been an honor, and a pleasure on my part. Cozy little place you got there. I started this journey, I never thought I'd get this far. But here we are anyway, at the end. For me, Undertale is a life-changing experience, and one that was very hard to let go of, even after I first played it. So with Undertale, I wanted to give you another chance to exist in a world like it. As if it was your first time. I hope I've given you that chance. I hope you've come away satisfied with the time you spent in this world. No matter what you've done in your life, your actions here speak volumes about the kind of person you really are. Because of you that you got the ending you did, nothing can take that experience away from you. Despite your mistakes, you are awesome. You deserve love and attention. Remember that, okay? Take care of yourself, Oddman. Thank you. Well, 
that's it. Fantastic game, I will say. I suppose, you know, most of it wasn't extremely different from the original, but as it went along, it actually did its own thing, which I like. That's good. So yeah, tank patterns are actually pretty, a very strong aspect of this game. Bullet patterns are very cool and unique and well designed. I like that. Uh, honestly, don't really know much else to say. I mean, they're... Oh, that's cool. Of course, there was, you know, the white screens of death, which, you know, the best did... I mean, it doesn't detract from the experience that much, I don't think. Anyway, I guess that's it for now. I'll see you in the next thing I do. I will not be doing the genocide route, at least not soon. Probably take a break from this for a little bit, if I do end up doing it. Anyway, guess this is goodbye. See you later. Goodbye, farewell, and adios.